I love that sound. Me too. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I'm Caitlin. I'm Walter Crock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Danielle. And we are our time of the month. Yes. And today we are going to put some makeup on our faces. Yeah, we ain't got nothing on right now. I have to sneeze. Bless you. Thank you. Um, I'm currently barefaced, as is Danielle. Mm -hmm. uh, she, you have a little moisturizer on from last night? I do. I have, uh, I've been using this Lancome Vis Visionaire Nuit Beauty Sleep Perfector. It's a gel and oil multi-correcting moisturizer that you use at nighttime. This was gifted to us by Lancome and Octoly, so thank you so much. I recently hauled it in our PR unboxing, which should already be up, and I hadn't used it at that time, but since then I've been using it every night, and I still have residual left on my skin from last night. Normally I wash my face in the morning, but today I knew I was gonna put makeup on and I kinda wanted to see how this would perform under it. Um, I've been loving it. It's been great. It feels really nice. The texture is really interesting. The The term gel in oil. Do you want to use some? Yeah. So I forgot. I typically, I've been using the um, Clinique 72 hour moisture surge, moisture surge under my makeup. Um, the and texture is similar. I actually. forgot it. So I'm just going to go ahead and use just a touch of this you as use my, tumbling? yeah, as my like priming. It doesn't have a very strong fragrance at all, um, and I find that it dissipates. But the term gel and oil, I think, can be kind of off-putting for people. It doesn't feel like you're rubbing an oil on your skin. Mm -mm. It almost feels like a. It almost feels like a gel cleanser that That's you're rubbing exactly in. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Really? Yeah. Uh, God, we should really like do, do something this. with this. You know, like tell people what we like. We're so in tune. It's almost like we should be partners. Get out. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Let's table it for now. We'll consider it. Okay, so let me show you the texture. So as you can see, it does look a little, it almost looks a little wiggly, and it does look like a gel. I think it looks jelly. It does. So I have done the tiniest little layer. Um, I also did do a lay, two drops of Tan Lux uh, tanning. Mm -hmm drops last night um so i'm slightly tanner than i normally would be but only a hint oh yeah a whisper of a tan yeah so i've really been liking it i do think it's quite pricey however you need such a small amount of it and you that's only use it at night yeah so i think that's gonna last like at least six months yeah i would say though if you have oily skin do not try and put this on under your makeup no i'm even a little i'm even a little dubious about having it under my makeup just because i worry that it's not that's Things are gonna budge. It's made in bright. But we will let you know. Yeah, I've been liking it. It hasn't made me break out. Normally things, if they don't agree with me, it's like instantaneous, I can tell. And my skin is not looking the best right now. I've had a stressful month and that shows on my skin first. Mm -hmm. And also in my hips and thighs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to prime. So I'm gonna treat that moisturizer as primer. Okay, I'm fine with that. We're just gonna go with that. So I have been trying out a new product that I purchased, I believe it was the last Sephora sale. Um, and it is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. It has SPF 50 in it, which makes me really happy. I will say this is probably the thickest foundation mm -hmm. product I have ever used and I was not prepared for that. Um, I bought this because I had heard a lot of people that I follow on YouTube raving about it. Um, I was unprepared for the texture and the first time that I put, I pumped it out, I used way too much. I actually looked like I had a mask on my face. Yeah. Yeah. It was awful. Um, I also bought a shade that was slightly too light for me. I think it'll be perfect in like a month. Mm -hmm. Um, but for now I am still mixing it with my True Match Lumi in the shade N3. So I'm going to do sort of like a pump of this and a pump of this Got and it. then blend. I bought that like a year ago and I returned it instantly. I thought about returning it, but I'm just, I'm trying it. You I'm are. using it up. Yeah, I did have, I have I the it broke me out Fenty too. in my bag. Okay. And I'm going to exchange it for a different color. That's since smart. the one I got was so horrific. So I primed with the Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. This is a purple based primer. It does not show purple on your skin. Uh, and I think it's nice. It's not my favorite. It's not my least favorite. For foundation, I'm also mixing with Caitlyn, and I'm using two drugstore foundations, actually. 
really been back to the drugstore foundation thing. Yeah. Mainly because I used up my expensive one. Oh, which one? <laughs> Lancome. I think I'm going to buy it. I really love it. I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 118 Light Beige. Yeah. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. Hello. Hello, sir. Full coverage foundation. This is in the shade, I think, F4. F2. So this is that big crazy wand that I just like dab. Yeah, it's not very hygienic, but you do what you do. You know what? There's a lot of things about my life that aren't that hygienic. So like the fact that you just said you never clean your beauty blender. I pretty much never clean my beauty blender. I just throw it away when it gets too gross. Um, I Ooh, never clean my makeup brushes. I do all those things. <laughs> yeah. So I think you're fine with your, you know, doe foot applicator. Okay. I need a mirror. That would be cool. I also like suck face with strangers and that's kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how you referred to it as suck, suck face. <laughs> well, I will say most of the time it's not. The other it's day it was. So what's new with you guys and gals? Oh, <gasps> I've never peeled off this sticky. Wow. I don't think it can. My nails won't allow that. Oh, wait. Isn't that a thing? Like peel porn? Yeah. Oh, that's a goodie. That was a good one. I also have this really cute, uh, like pimple. <gasps> oh, and your lip line. I get those mm. every once in a while. Ew, that's some ASMR bullshit. Yeah. When are we gonna start doing those? When are we gonna start a podcast? I think maybe when our voices are less annoying. Because, you know, for a podcast, we could talk about all this shit, but we don't have to look good. We could just look like trash. But does anyone That know? is so full coverage. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yes. And that's blended. Wow. Yeah, I will say I often end up leaving a lot of it on my hand because I feel like it is it's the mask. Yeah, and I kind of, and I don't really like full coverage. I don't know how, I don't like how it looks. It looks good. I just, but I just think it looks like I'm wearing makeup. I mean, it looks like you are wearing makeup, but it looks nice. It doesn't look like it's sitting on your skin weird. No. It and looks I, like it's a good color match. Well, yeah, because I think I'm an expert blender. Okay, I mean, we covered. And I will say the coverage is so full that I barely even feel like I need concealer. Which is crazy because I have spots over here, I have a spot here, and then just like my under eye, regular like under eye shadows are minimum. So minimal. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of the um, NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee, mainly under my eyes for a little brightening, but I'll tap it on my my blemishes. I don't think my beauty blender was wet enough. Okay, I wanted to use this e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer, but then I remembered just a few minutes ago that I think this looked really weird under my eye that one time. I don't remember. And we're filming three videos, so I don't really have, I don't have wiggle room <laughs> for errors. So I'm also using NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And we, we've both been using it for a long time. It's the best, and I, like, I'm not even at the bottom. Yeah, I have to look up the last time I bought it because I'm... I think I still have a lot of product in there, I but the, I also took a big break over the summer and was using the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which pretty much when I reach in my drawer every morning, I hesitate as to which one to grab. Um, it just depends on what I have planned for the day because we are filming. I want more coverage and also because I then am like living a whole day with it and it's, I don't want it to move around and I'm shopping, so I don't want it. Um, Otherwise, I would either use the Glossier. It just doesn't, it's not as matte and it doesn't have as much coverage, but I still really love it. I highly recommend. I also take a little bit around my nostrils. As women, we get red there. But it's so much fun. Love that for us. I love that journey for us. So I'm taking a little powder and I'm just gonna set my under eye very lightly. Me too, but probably not lightly because, oh my God, I didn't bring any brushes down here. Oh, whoops. Okay, I gotta go get them. Um, and a lot of the times I actually do, I like bake. I put a shitload of powder on under my eyes. 
um, and then let it sit but because I didn't use a ton of concealer I'm not gonna bother I'm just gonna sort of pat it out with my be Should we shouldn't be calling them beauty blenders because they're not Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Yes, thank you. So lately I've been doing this thing where I just take a little bit of my, so this is the same powder I always use, you guys, so great, Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, and I'm taking my damp sponge, and I'm just kind of setting my whole face with it lately, and I've been liking it. Because I was getting super oily everywhere. Really? So I do this, and then I, I obviously will whisk away. Whisk? Whisk? Whisk. I'm whisking it away. Okay. That sounds painful. So we weren't drinking, but now we are. So so this is a wink. It's Cape Root Chenin Blanc from the Western Cape. Beautiful packaging. Does mm -hmm. it say Ernst Storm? Winemaker's Ernst Storm. It's from Santa Barbara County. He returns to his South African hometown to make wine. Born from two microclimates. Okay. Well, cheers. Cheers. And yeah, we put ice in our white wine because we classy. Well, it wasn't cold. I'm not gonna drink it room temperature. No. I'd rather have a little water down than warm. Yeah. Okay, next, brows. So, well, yeah, no, I'm gonna go back. So recently I have ran out of my Brow Luxe pencil and so I had gone back to the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. I think that this is a great brow pencil if you don't want to spend more than $10 on a brow pencil. Oh, it is more than $10, isn't it? Is it? Is it $12? It's almost always on sale, though. I hate the way my lips look when I'm doing my makeup. It's just non-existent. $10. Oh. But this is buy two, get one free right now. Oh. So I will say, it's a. if you are on budget. a budget, this is a great option. If you want the best, it's Brow Lux. And we, we were lucky enough that Brow Lux heard our call, knew that we absolutely freaking loved them, and they sent us they sent us two in our colors. And when I say our colors, I mean they are the perfect colors because yes. I um they so really the, are. the brow one of the women from the Brow Lux team actually color matched me in person and then color matched Danielle based on a photo that I showed her. And so that's what you need to know. If you want to order them, they have told us multiple times you as a buyer feel free to message them a photo of yourself and they're happy to color match you. Yeah. It's part of the process for them. Yeah, and it's so genius because their colors truly are the perfect thing. Like my blonde is not red, it's not gray green, it's not brown, it's just sort of like a blonde, dark blonde. And I've been telling you, your brows have never looked better. Yeah, it's very exciting. Although I still need to watch the video that they sent us about. Me too. The perfect brow technique, because sometimes I feel like I'm just filling in a coloring book. Also, we have a discount code for you. Yay! Oh I my god, like I almost forgot. The first time that we've actually been like really using something and a brand was like, you know what? We're gonna give you a discount code. I think you girls can sell some brow pencils. Oh, I think we can too. They are right. We oh, definitely can. So First of all, I'm gonna use our own discount code to buy pencils for Ever. my mom and my sister <gasps> for Christmas. So you're using the shade Taupe. And I am using Ash. And I'm pretty sure Taupe, actually don't quote me, I was gonna say is their lightest shade, but I think there might be one lighter. Yeah, can you read us the shades? Yes. Okay, so the shades, this is the lightest color, is Taupe. Okay. So the shades are the, in the cool vein, it's taupe, ash, and coal. So taupe and ash, I think, are... Oh, that's us. Could both be used as, like, a blonde. Like, a blonde could wear You're getting ash. real close to my eyeball. It's not as close as you think it is. <laughs> so it's taupe and ash, and then coal. And then in the neutral category is coffee and carbon, which are both very dark shades. Mm. And then the last is warm and that's walnut, nutmeg, and cocoa. I love that. So names. walnut is a really beautiful light brown. Nutmeg has a orange hue. So I think you would also think of like if you've seen cinnamon, the actual spice. Oh yeah. It's similar to that. And then cocoa, which is a very deep brown. So like that one that one is an auburn kind of color. Nutmeg. Yeah. That's for redheads. Yeah, for sure. And then carbon is like the darkest tone and it is I would say it's a soft black. But yeah, so these are $18.95 online. I'm pretty sure you can get a, well, you have a coupon code. It's ours. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure you can find a coupon. It's us. I think it's 15%. Is that right? 
15 OTM Brow 1.5. And because they're a Canadian company, you can shop through their Amazon page, which I think will save you shipping money in the long run. That's what they told us to tell you. Yes. So you save a few bucks. What's your wonky brow? Mine is my right one. It's my right one. Although they've switched over the years. It's not always my right one. But for some reason, I just really like... Well, I think part of it is that mole that I have above my eyebrow. Like, I feel like I can't take my eyebrow as high because it'll run into the mole. Oh. Are you getting that fixed? I am... Yes, I will. But I have to wait. I'm going to wait until January or February when I'm, like, seeing the sun as little as possible. That's smart. And then I don't think that it's going to be covered by insurance, but I want to wait until I at least have insurance in case some of it can be covered. Yeah, but so I don't know. You got you guys have probably noticed this is what we're talking about. So it was a mole that I had removed, and then it came back dark, and then I had it removed again, and it came back. But it's just the color of my skin. Do you think it will come back again? I think is that an, is that a possibility? I think it's always a possibility with moles, but do you think it gets bigger or changes size or anything? The thing is, is like this was shaved off. So then it regrew. I think she's gonna like actually take it out and then stitch it up. Howie. Yeah. Bronzer. Contour. No, I'm not doing that. So the, I have the Fenty. Oh, I can't remember what it's called. F I think it's like Fenty Shade Stick. This Matt is in the shade of amber. Thank you. And I'm actually just gonna take this very dense Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna bloop, 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 bloop it up. And then I'm gonna smear it in. Because I've been finding it, it looks more natural when I do it that way. I'm using Lila B Sunkissed Bronzed Beauty. I can't stop. I freaking love it. Sephora sale is here. I'm buying a bunch more Lila B products. <gasps> Are you? Yes. I think I have to get it. It's so good. I wanted it so bad for so long and I, I kept telling myself no. But it's bigger than I thought. I think it's smaller than I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm buying more products. I'm, I just, yeah, it's just really... Stay tuned for Sephora sale content because it's coming. Mm -hmm. And I just use this as a bronzer. I'm not contouring really. So recently I have been actually really freaking loving, which I have not loved in the past. And so I, it's so funny to me that I love it now. The NARS Laguna bronzer, which is like a An staple. OG. And I think this is actually an extra large one. We found it at either TJ Maxx or Marshalls and I've been using it a lot and I think my bronzing has started to look way more, I mean, I'm not even gonna say natural, realistic. <laughs> I think I've, I've been over bronzing. I still think I'm over bronzing. I am too. I but um, I was over bronzing for a really long time and I think this has helped me tone it down. I was just using dark shades and I was using a lot of them. Um, but today, because I feel like it, oh, I was gonna say, I feel like you never talk about it. Do you just not love it? I love it, but I think part of it is it's so expensive. I like don't, I hesitate to use it. Oh, don't be like that. Right? Isn't no. that sad? But so it's the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Um, I have it in the lighter shade, I believe. Fair medium, yeah. Um, I do really, really, really like this highlight as a highlight that you can wear on a daily basis and it doesn't look ridiculous. Um, Actually, I'll have to survey my coworkers. Maybe I do look ridiculous. <laughs> so while she's bronzing, I'm blushing, which you know I fucking love to blush. And I, I've found, I've rediscovered an old favorite in my collection. This is a sample size, but this is Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the shade Exposed. I think this is the perfect shade for fall and winter because it's a bit mauvier, it's a bit deeper of a color. But because I do like that little bit of like pink flush, I am tapping in just very lightly to this Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Cocktail Party. This is the shade Babe. And I just kind of put that in the center of my cheek. So I'm making a little blush cocktail. Did I not tell you that I was over bronzing? Yeah. I 100% over bronzed. Remember I sent you a picture, I sent Caitlin a picture yesterday of us. It was one of the first photos we took, just the two of us. And not only was the angle of the photo pure, it was like what your parents take a selfie like. Or if they're FaceTiming you. Yeah. Right, and we also didn't know what bronzer was. Or, I mean, I definitely had eyebrows on, which I was impressed by, but other than that, it's like my makeup was non-existent. And there was a whack-ass filter, and we were both wearing hats. 
I was wearing an actual fedora, uh, you know? You used to wear it a lot. Not only for that, um, for the wine trips, yeah. Why did I feel like I'd wear a hat? So I'm gonna, <laughs> for blush, I'm gonna use the Becca Luminous Blush that I bought at Costco um, in the shade Blush Copper. And you have to be really careful with this because it's so pigmented. Um, so I'm pretty much just gonna like, boop, boop, pretty. And a trick I've been doing recently, especially as it gets cold, <laughs> I just take whatever is left over on my blush brush and I go on my nose. But it only works if you do that noise. <laughs> what I did there too much see I don't really think so I blush and bronzer right. are the first things to disappear from your makeup so it's like you've male it's got to be male person male time male time male time here's the mail it never fails it makes me want to wag my tail and when it comes I want to wail mail okay so now I am highlighting with the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow will eventually be going in public where people will not understand if I look like I'm in Las Vegas. Ask me if I care. Trisha Paytas got married yesterday. Who do you think it's to? Actually married? She says she did. Well, so did What's-Her-Face and the other guy. Tana Mojo. Uh-huh. Okay, there's a new favorite highlighter in town. Wow, you're really going for it. <laughs> Sorry, what? The Rach Loves <gasps> Times Pixie Palette. I forgot about palette. this stuff already. Yeah, I brought it all down. Why wasn't I using it? I don't know. This is the Layers Highlighting Palette Glow On. Y'all, you aren't even ready for this. Okay, I gotta use one of these then. It comes with a shitload of highlighters. And I just mix tea and clutch. And it is pigmented, honey. Oh. Actually, I'll use the eyeshadows. Oh, yeah. So this is the Pixie with Heart Defense. Is it Heart Defense? Defensor. I thought you said before. I don't know. Um, okay. Ow. It's a lot of highlighter. <laughs> These shades. Pretty, 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 I'm pretty, pretty much only going to use this brown color right here. Let me see. Oh, I do like that. Like, I'm not going to go. Oh, that's pretty too. Yeah, those are the ones I used last time. I'm not going to go crazy with a lot of color because I know that I'm going to probably do a more dramatic lip. Um, and so it's one or the other for me, usually. Oh, and this is also way orangier than in the pan. Oh, yeah. But it's really pretty for fall, I think. Okay, so I've already highlighted. I'm really loving that palette. Like the quality is fantastic. I have a lot of indigestion today, I'm sorry. Probably all that sausage dip you ate. Oh my God, it was so good though. It was so good, I ate so much of it. So dumb how good it is. Okay, I'm using a cream eyeshadow called Tip Taupe and this is by, don't know who because it's from a style studio which is a clothing boutique in Pikesville. And they put this in a little giveaway bag, and this color is just actually Well, isn't it their brand? No. I looked it up. It's an actual brand. They just re- Yeah. Package it? Yeah. But the color is absolutely beautiful, and it's like, Ooh. for me, just a very quick eye look. I mean, I have a really big day of thrift shopping. I mean, I legit thought this eye color was brown. Is it kind of reddish? It is very red. Like, ah, uh, and wow, pigmented. Let me see. I can just keep <gasps> blending forever. It's actually really pretty though. Your but eyes it's just look so a blue. lot. I think I need to tone it down slightly to just a little bit more neutral. Um, so I'm gonna bring in my natural matte palette from Too Faced, and I'm just gonna do like a little like nudie and cashmere bunny, which are just very light brown shades. I'm just gonna like layer over it a little bit. Wow, what it was that layer, layer over it a little bit. bit. Okay, I have to tell you something. What? Guess who bought something from the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star collection? <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Please tell me it's the pig mirror. <laughs> I would have because I would like a mirror with a fucking handle. Same. 
<laughs> I got the mini controversy palette. Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh my god. I'm actually really excited. And I've been wanting to test Jeffree Star Cosmetics formula. And I tried to get a friggin' lipstick, but it was all sold out. Well, so it's looking like I'm just going to be using a, uh, I guess we're just going with a neutral lip then. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fucking eye makeup. How? This always happens to me, though. I'm... Okay, I'm just going to be mold. dipping around in this palette trying to make this look less intense. I don't know why making, adding color to it is going to make it less intense. Why but... don't you dip into like a nude color or like a beige? I already did. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so. And you know I'm not wiping it off. No. I don't think I've ever wiped makeup off unless it's lipstick. Liquid liner. I don't wear it. But I've definitely wiped that off a lot. Okay, I think cream eyeshadow products are the unsung heroes of the makeup world because I think you can do a multi-dimensional look with just one freaking eyeshadow. I'm into it. And I always use my finger. I don't understand how people can put liquid or cream eyeshadow on with a brush. No, I also feel like that's when you have to wash your brushes immediately. Okay, that's better. I just have to be done. So now, <laughs> it looks good, but I, you're right. It's it, a lot of eye makeup. It, I mean, on one hand, yay, pigment. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I was sort of, un I was unprepared for how pigmented this these pixie shades were. Like, I just did a tiny little dab into the pan, and then all of a sudden I had a lot of eye makeup to work with. And I'm not good at that. You look so tan. That is two drops of tan lux. And two drops. <gasps> I should buy it during the sale. Yeah, but also look what I did. <laughs> can't be trusted. No, it's always whenever I drink a little bit before. Yeah, so I'm gonna set before I do my mascara because then it won't run down my face. Same. Which I have learned the hard way. Here you are, madame. Thank you. Mm. Oh, it's I've a missed fresh it one. so much. It's a fresh one. Oh. If I'm near an Ulta today, I'm buying it. Actually, are you going? Done. Mascara. I'm not gonna prime my lashes today. What? Because wow. <laughs> nobody at the thrift store cares? Pretty much. But I am using my Monsieur Big by Lancome and I'm using the little baby mm -hmm. travel size. So I feel like once you open it when you're traveling, you have to kind of use it up. Yeah. Um, I am still stuck on my two timing mascara, two timing mascara situation. I'm gonna start by priming my lashes with mascara, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist in black. Black, and then uh, then I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Noir, which Noir. for the price I just don't like it enough. Mm -mm. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So today is officially November second. Around this time last year, we were starting holiday content. Yes, and we're starting now to think about it. So if you have holiday video requests or blog posts, uh, please comment down below with your suggestions. Danielle surveyed the crowd on Instagram the other day and we got quite a few suggestions. I also put a community, I went into the community tab of YouTube and I put posted like a status. Oh. And people, thank you if you've written back already. Yeah, because holiday content, holiday content is just hard to film in general just because it's such a busy season. Um, but then also thinking of content that is interesting for you guys and that you haven't watched with every other person on the planet um, is challenging to think of on our own. So we would love suggestions, please. And I don't think we can commit to like 25 days of Christmas. We did 12 last year. Or 12 days. But I, we are definitely just gonna, we're gonna do what we can I would love to do it. Like, I would love to just really fucking rule Christmas content. Well, it's funny because we are both so Christmassy and we do a lot of holiday things. Yeah. But um, I think it would just all have to be like vlog style, which we're not particularly good at. No, we're not. I'm gonna try to go in really gentle with my YSL. I never know what it is. We've talked about it in past videos. I will link it below, but I don't know what it is at this moment. Slim matte something something. Yeah, but I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna try and give my lips like a 
flush look but not like lipstick lipstick are you going in with anything on top of it yeah oh okay i have a few options i kind of want to use one of these new guys like just that much just a tad and then what are you i'm gonna top it with this clarins uh natural lip perfector lip what do i want to do i'm gonna use this this is a nars satin lip pencil in rakujian hmm you want to take a stab at it yeah Nar nars is hard it's either like do me baby orgasm or rakujian i can't even say it My eyesight are so bad. I think it's really gotten worse than the last year. Yep, Rikugian. sure, Rakugian. It's a really good color, though. Let's see what that what that word. It means, might be though. a place. Rakugian Garden. Rakugian. <laughs> I'm topping that Rakugian Garden with the Pixie Lip Icing in partnership with Chloe Morello, and this is the shade Sorbet. Frost, frost yourself. I'm. Freaking obsessed with these lip icings. Oh, I didn't even like. I could have used the hourglass. Is it the one I used last time? Mm hmm. Yeah. Somehow it doesn't look fucking oh, purple. I got it wrong, but I got it dirty. I thought I was wearing tie dye, so like my lips needed to match that. Totally. Okay. Oh, did you just hear that? You that was my it. neck. Mm. I've been really into watching that chiropractor. Oh God, I know. I don't know why. Crack it, crack it. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. It's the way most people, when they watch Food Network and they're like, ugh, it makes me hungry. Watching her crack these people's body parts makes me want to get cracked. Like I want to make an appointment tomorrow to go and have oh. an adjustment. You want to get realigned? I do. <laughs> are you kidding? Uh, okay. These are our final looks to go shopping and thrifting respectively. Uh, it's a shitload of makeup to do that, but we're filming three videos, you guys. Yes, yeah, so we gotta look good, just for you. Right. But that's it, so what are you wearing on your face? What are your new favorite products? Or are you using the same old, same old that you've always used and you love it? We would love to know because we're always looking for new things to try. Yeah, absolutely. And I was gonna say something else. Don't forget to let us know in the comments if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see during the holidays. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. Oh, literally anything. Just tell us. We'll do anything unless it's illegal. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring Cowboy. the bell. Cowboy. Rodeo. What? <laughs> Ring the bell. Comment. Like. Subscribe. Sign up for notifications. Uh. Tell your friends, post yeah. it on Facebook, repost it, send it to your girlfriend. Follow us on Instagram. Send it to your ex-boyfriend. I don't know. Mm. That would be punishment. These two chatty bitches on the internet. Oh yeah. Or <laughs> we should get one of those accounts where you can like send Ca people cameo. video messages. Yeah. Cameo. We're going to get cameo and then we will say mean things to your exes. For $10. Feel free to sign yeah. up for that. I would 100% do that as a service to you. Right. <laughs> so watch our last video. Watch our next video. Watch, Watch all, all the, the videos. videos. Do you know what I've realized? What? We do it and it makes sense to us, but when we watch it, it's we should really be doing watch our last video, watch our next video, watch all the videos. Oh, that's funny. Sorry, guys. I think you get it, though. Yeah. You understand what we mean. You know that we're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're not far off. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Oh we'll see you later, alligator. The fuck was that? <laughs> Put her there, partner. I don't know. We're losers. <laughs> yeah.